Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you unplug the appliance before beginning and turn off the hot and cold water supply valves. Your first step is to disconnect the water supply hoses from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Next, remove the screws at the back of the control panel. Slide the panel to the side to detach it from the main top. Detach the wires from the control board and set the control panel aside. Now, insert a putty knife under the main top to release the two spring clips securing the front panel. Pull the front panel forward and lift up to remove. Remove the two screws securing the main top. Slide the main top forward slightly, lift up, and use pliers to squeeze the lid switch wire retainer to release it from the frame. Now lift up the lid, squeeze the tab to release the lid switch, and pull it through the opening in the main top. You can now completely remove the top and set it aside. Next, remove the screws to release the rear panel, the control panel bracket, and trim. Use pliers to gently remove the air pressure tube from the pressure switch. You can now move the control panel bracket out of the way. Remove the screws securing the shock dampening straps. and pull the straps from the tub cover. Release the tabs on the bottom of the tub cover and pull the cover off. Lift up the dispenser cover and rotate the dispenser cup counterclockwise to remove. Use a 7 16 inch socket to remove the agitator bolt. Then lift off the agitator. Next, pull off the drive block and washer. Use a 1 and 11 16 inch tub nut wrench and hammer to remove the tub nut by rotating the wrench clockwise. You can now lift the inner tub off of the drive shaft and set it aside. Use a flathead screwdriver to help remove the split ring and lift off the washer. Now, note the position of the motor and mode shifter wires on the motor board, then disconnect them. Remove the screw to release the grounding wire. Use pliers to squeeze the ends of all four of the wire retainers to fully release the wires from the motor mounting bracket. Unwind the wires from the suspension rod. Loosen the clamp securing the drain hose to the bottom of the tub. And pull the hose off. Again, be prepared for water to spill. Remove the air pressure tube from the side of the tub and detach it from the twist retainer. Next, lift up the outer tub and unsnap the four suspension rods from the base frame. You can use a hammer handle or broom handle to assist in detaching the lower support bushings. Now tilt the outer tub and motor assembly forward and remove it from the cabinet. Your next step is to remove the drive belt. 
Use a 3 quarter inch socket to remove the retaining nut securing the drive pulley. Secure the pulley as you loosen the nut. Be aware this may require some effort. Lift the pulley off and remove the hex bolts underneath. Remove the bolts securing the base frame to the outer tub. Cut the zip tie securing the overflow tube. Note the position of the motor on the outer tub and lift the base frame assembly off of the tub. Lift out the old mode shifter. You're now ready to install the new shaft and mode shifter assembly. Insert the assembly through the opening in the tub. Align the base frame and motor assembly with both the outer tub and the new mode shifter. Secure the base frame bolts. Secure the overflow tube with a zip tie. Replace the hex bolts to secure the mode shifter. Align the drive pulley on the mode shifter shaft. Replace the retaining nut and torque the nut to at least 35 foot-pounds. Replace the drive belt by looping it around the drive pulley and motor shaft with the flat side of the belt facing outward. Return the outer tub and motor assembly to the cabinet, making sure the motor is facing forward. Lift the outer tub up and snap all four suspension rods into place on the base frame. Reconnect the air pressure tube and secure it to the suspension rod with the twist retainer. Reconnect the drain hose to the bottom of the tub. Tighten the clamp. Wind the motor wires around the suspension rod and snap all of the wire retainers into place. Replace the screw to secure the grounding wire. Reconnect the motor wires to the motor board. Connect the mode shifter wire as well. Replace the washer onto the drive shaft as well as the split ring. Now reinstall the inner tub by setting it on the drive shaft. Replace the tub nut by threading it counterclockwise. Use a hammer and tub wrench to help tighten the nut. Replace the washer on the agitator shaft, as well as the drive block. Replace the agitator and secure it with the bolt. Align the groove in the dispenser cup with the tabs in the agitator and rotate clockwise to lock it into place. Align the tab slots in the tub cover with the tabs on the tub and snap the cover into place. Replace the shock dampening straps and secure with the screws. Reposition the control panel bracket and reconnect the air pressure tube to the pressure switch. Replace the control panel trim by inserting the trim tabs into the slots in the frame. Reposition the rear panel and secure all of the screws.
Replace the main top by first inserting the lid switch through the hole in the top and snapping it into place. Snap the wire retainer into the frame. Now align the slots in the main top with the mounting tabs on the frame and push the main top back into position. Secure with the screws in the front. Reposition the front panel by aligning the tabs on the base with the slots at the bottom of the panel. Align the pins on the front of the cabinet with the holes in the front panel and snap the panel into position. Reconnect the wires to the control board. Insert the tabs on the bottom of the control panel into the slots in the main top. Replace the screws to secure the control panel. Reconnect the water supply hoses to the inlet valve. And turn the water supply back on. You're now ready to plug the power cord back in and confirm that the appliance is functioning properly.